What's up, YouTube? Leo Sheng here, host of the Extreme Fillet Fishing Channel. Today is, I haven't even checked yet. Today is March 16th, 2016. It's a Wednesday. And I'm finally bringing you guys the Mystery Taco Box unboxing for the Catfish Box. Yeah. You know that someone is busy when the unboxing comes pretty much one month late, okay? I know I have been promising you guys that it was, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, and it's finally here, okay? I apologize for any delays, but you know, life has been extremely hectic. And as you guys can see, this box came to me in February and it is still sealed, right? I haven't opened it yet. As you guys know, my unboxings are always ad lib, right? I don't really practice before I film, okay? Uh, but anyways, uh, as always, I am going to give you guys today a little bit of my expectations for this box, right? What I expect to, to come in this box. After all, this is my first Mystery Tackle Box, Catfish Box. I am, going, I am also going to talk a little bit about the background information, you know, a little bit of the catfish background information, right? So you guys have a, an idea of how catfish behave because unfortunately I can't give you the expectations for the box, you know, without talking about the, you know, the, the catfish part. And uh, as always, if you think my videos are too long and you don't want, you are not here to learn anything, right? You just want to skip and see what is inside the box. You're a catfish master. No worries. I'm, I'm leaving the time right here in the video just to skip it there and see the unboxing. Uh, the time is also in the description of the video, okay? Uh, but before anything else, uh, some folks have been complaining that my videos are too long. You know, oh, Leo, your, your unboxing videos are like 30 minutes long, right? And there is a reason for that, okay? There is a reason for that. I always like to include background information in my videos, okay? And that's why I want to talk a little bit about that, okay? So, call it story time okay I think this is going to be something very interesting for you guys to uh, to hear about uh, and hopefully this will enlighten you in certain ways okay so uh, yeah changing the subject a little bit uh, back in the 1970s and 1980s right it existed a very famous physicist okay I'm talking about Richard Feynman as you guys know, I am a gra I, I did graduate from physics from college at Temple University, so I know all about it, okay? Richard, Fe Richard Feynman was like the founder, not the founder, but you know, he was like very influential in the subfield of quantum electrodynamics, mostly, you know, called as, uh, referred to as QED. He created these things called Feynman diagrams in the, field, in the realm of QED, that made calculations really, really easy, okay? And the, good, the cool thing about Feynman is that Feynman wasn't just a genius physicist. He was also a very good educator. He had a knack for educating people. And that's why, you know, if there are, there are people who know about physics watching this, or, you know, there are physics students out there, everyone in the, in the realm of physics has already heard about the Feynman Lecture series, okay, which is a series of three books with notes from Richard Feynman, the man himself, when he used to teach, and those books are amazing for learning physics, okay, they're just amazingly, they were amazingly written, okay, so Richard Feynman was an extraordinary guy, and from his many, from the many speeches that he gave, there was one that I really, really enjoyed it. I'm linking it above for you guys to see. It is only one minute, 30 seconds. I highly recommend you to pause this video and go check it out. And hopefully by now you have already paused and already watched that. So you know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, summarizing, as you saw in Feynman's video, right? He talks about the beauty of a flower, okay? And the moral of the video is that beauty is so subjective. The moral of the video is that knowledge makes beauty so subjective, okay? Uh, Feynman states in his video that he has this friend who's an artist, and if you, you know, if you show a flower to this artist friend, right, both Feynman and the artist friend can agree that the flower is beautiful. And as a matter of fact, if he showed that flower to anyone out there, 
anyone would agree with him that the flower is beautiful because everyone is able to see the flower and admire the beauty of a flower. However, the artist friend comes in and says that scientists break that flower apart, destroying its beauty. And that's when Feynman disagrees. Feynman says that the more you know about that flower, more beautiful it becomes. When you start to understand why the flower is that color, what are the chemical processes going within the flower, things start to get more and more beautiful. And that is a, that is a beauty that common folks can't really see. Same thing applies to the sport of fishing folks. As a matter of fact, same thing applies to catfishing, okay? Anyone can go out there with a fishing rod, reel, line, sinker, hook, and catch a catfish. Many people even say catfish is one of the easiest species to catch because you just throw your bait out there, wait for the bite, and you catch a catfish. And when you catch that catfish, right, doesn't matter how much background information you have on that fish, you will be able to admire that fish. You will be able to say, this fish is beautiful, man. And if you show that catfish to anyone else in the world, if people like catfish, they would say that's a beautiful fish as well. But the more you start to know about that catfish, the more you learn about its behavior, more beautiful you, st you know, see, more beautiful it becomes. You really, really start to appreciate it more and more. So as you can see, just like Feynman stated one day, the more you know about things in your life, the more things you realize. And the more things you realize, right, you start to see that our world is truly beautiful, which is why I do my videos this way, okay? I always do my videos this way with some background information so you guys can learn more about the sport of fishing. And hopefully the more you learn about the sport of fishing, more you get enticed by it and more you find it beautiful, all right? <laughs> so that's why my videos are long, okay? I don't just do the unboxing and say, okay, it is this, it is that, it is this, bye-bye. You know, I actually give you some information here that you can learn, take home with you. And hopefully next time you catch a catfish, after you have watched this video, you will think a little bit about what Leo Shane from Extreme Filet Fishing said in his video. And when you do that, you will come to realize that the catfish is such a beautiful creature. You will come to realize that the catfish is by no means a trash fish. And you will come to realize that catfishing in this country, in the United States of America, is so underrated because people don't know about the catfish. All right, folks. So now let's talk about the catfish before I open the box, before I can give you the expectations for the box. I am going to talk about three unique characteristics that only catfish have. Hopefully you know about this already. If you don't, you're in for a little lecture, okay? So let's do it. So characteristic number one that is very unique to catfish, okay? If any of you has read anything about the catfish before, especially didactic books, meaning educational books on catfish, you probably have heard the sentence before. The fact that the catfish is a giant tongue, okay? And this has to do with their unique sense of taste, okay? So what does it mean to say that the catfish is a giant tongue, right? We just have to think about our own tongue, right? What is exactly, what exactly our tongue does, right? And that is so easy, right? Uh, you all know that by now, right? If I put a piece of food in your tongue, you, you should be able to tell me what are the flavors of that food, right? You should be able to tell me if it is salty, sweet, spicy, sour, bitter, or even a mix of those complex flavors, right? And uh, what makes the tongue so unique is that if I put that same piece of food in your hand, you won't be able to tell me what flavor that food is, right? <coughs> Excuse me. In other words, you would only be able to tell me what flavor that food is if I put it on top of your tongue. And that's because your tongue has these unique things called taste buds. 
that you only have in your tongue. You don't have it anywhere else in your body. With the catfish, boy, the catfish is so unique that the catfish has taste buds all around its body. That's why the catfish is called a giant tongue. Folks, I don't know if you understand how magnificent this is, how fascinating this is. That means that when you drop that fish on the floor accidentally, the fish is able to taste the saltiness of the mud or the grass on the floor through its body, okay? That means that every time you hold a catfish with your hands to take a photo and you have salt and minerals in your hands, the catfish is able to taste the saltiness of your hand through its body because the catfish itself is a giant tongue, okay? So this is one characteristic that makes the catfish unique. The catfish doesn't really need to put food in its mouth to taste it. He can literally just pass some food through its body and he will be able to taste it right there, okay? The second characteristic that makes catfish so unique is its sense of smell, okay? Fish do have a sense of smell. Fish do have nose. They are called nostrils. There are usually two holes that are above their mouth, right? And uh, that's why you have things in the market like scent products, okay? But when it comes to the catfish, catfish takes, you know, the level of smell to a higher, one notch above, okay? When it comes to catfish, they can smell things that are so much further away, okay? When it comes to other species of fish. As a matter of fact, they have a whole feeding process, okay? And what is the feeding process? They usually smell the, your bait first, then they go all the way to your bait, they swim to your bait, and once they approach your bait, they use their barbels, right? Their, their whiskers to touch the bait. That's the step number two. And if they touch your bait and they see, oh, this is actually something edible, right? Then step number three, they're gonna chomp on it. That's when you do the hook set and you catch the catfish, okay? So using only, using these two characteristics that I gave you already, right? You should think next time you catch a catfish, how that catfish got to your bait, okay? The beauty behind it, all right? Is it, is it that you just threw the bait there and by accident a catfish found it? No, it is never like that, okay? The catfish has a unique sense for finding, for finding baits, okay? And characteristic number three that is unique to the catfish, and that is so, so cool, is called electrosensing, okay? Electrosensing, folks. That, that means to have your own electromagnetic field, okay, from a physics perspective. That is something that sharks have in salt water. And what exactly does it mean? In common words, it means to have a little radar of your own within a range of your body. If you guys have ever played shooting games before or RPG games, you know what I'm talking about, right? You have a little map, a little radar there, and let's say you were in the center, and you can see it, certain dots here and there that could be the enemy, right? Because the radar detects, that detects all the enemies within that range. The catfish does the same thing. With electrosensing, they, they form an electromagnetic field, okay, that is like a radar and they can detect anything that is electric inside that radar. And you guys may be looking at me now and saying, Leo, but that is crazy, right? And what, what, why is this so important, right? Why, why do we have to know about this? If you guys haven't realized yet, or if you guys did not have the knowledge yet, right? Our heart, the human heart, right? Pumps 24 hours a day, right? Seven days a week and so on, 365 days a year, non-stop, right? And how exactly is it that the heart does that, right? I mean, you don't even think about it. The heart just does it. It's our pump, right? It does that because we have electric signals coming to our heart all the time. And those electric signals tell the heart to pump. Ha! Ah, do you see where I'm getting to here? 
when your heart fails to pump because the electro signals, electronic signals are failing, that's when you need a pacemaker, right? You go then you do a surgery for it. Similarly, fish in the water, every time their heart pumps, there's an electric signal as well. You know what that means? That means that a fish with electro, electro sensing can actually detect any big enough living organism within a certain weight radius. In other words, next time you go fishing for a flathead catfish, for example, right, using live sunfish or live fish, you should really think about how that fish found your fish. Was it by pure coincidence? Was it that, or, or was it that the fish was far away and he actually detected the heartbeat of her fish and when they're unaided? And that's why there's a big difference between using a fish that is half dead when the, when the heart is barely pumping anymore and the heart is very, and the fish is very lively, okay? It has the heartbeat there for catfish to locate it. So this is something, these are three things that are really, really cool about catfish, okay? It's sense of taste, it's sense of smell, and it's electrosensing, which I really like to call the sixth sense, right? That only catfish have, and sharks have it in salt water. And I really needed to tell you all about this so I could give you expectations for the Mystery Tackle Box. Because as you guys know, Mystery Tackle Box doesn't really give you right live baits inside their boxes, right? So through these three characteristics alone, I am able to tell you that I am expecting, for example, certain types of dough baits in this box. Maybe it will come with certain kind of fish attractants, scents. It will definitely come with terminal tackle because although I didn't talk about in this video, catfish are bottom feeders. They mainly feed all the way down. So I bet there's going to be some sinkers in here, right? Hooks, maybe swivels. I don't know. But these are my expectations for this box. So you see, folks, you can't have expectations if you don't have prior knowledge. When you have prior knowledge, when you have read a lot, studied a lot, you can at least have the ability to expect. What do I expect to be inside this box? Now, let's see if my expectations are right or not. As you guys saw, I have not yet opened this box. It is sealed. I have no idea what's inside. So, all right, let's finally see uh, what is inside this Mystery Tackle Box Catfish for the month of February. And hopefully you guys have learned something new about catfish so that next time when you embrace one in your arms, right? When you catch one and you hold it, you come to realize how beautiful that fish is and how complex that fish is when it comes to finding the bait, eating, right, etc. Okay? All right, let's do the unboxing now. Okay, so I got here my famous pair of scissors, this box is sealed as I always show you guys. Let's cut it open and see what is inside. All right, I'm pretty excited about the Mystery Tackle Box Catfish Box. It is a new product, okay? So before even I give a view, as always, I give you guys a view, right? Let's open it up and see what is inside. Let's see if my expectations were right or not. Damn, the About Your Box flew down like crazy. All right, <laughs> so there you go. This is the catfish box for the month of February, okay? I got here the About Your Box. Let's see how many baits came with it this month. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight different types of things here that came in the box, okay? There you go, you, have, you can have a, a little view of the, of the box, okay? Now let's go through them one by one. Uh, first here we got the Beige Ball by K and E Stopper Lures on the value of 3.49 for a three pack. Okay, let's let me find this thing in here. There a lot of interesting uh, interesting things in here. So let's see here. Okay. Oh boy, we certainly have a lot of. Uh, interesting interesting here things here today let me look let me let me see where are these things man i know i know they're in here 
I know they're in here, but uh, well, let me see. What is the name of the company again? Oh boy. Okay, I think I found it. I think this is it. All right, the bait ball by K and E is stopper yours. Okay, it says here, work great with bait or dough. Keep it dry before you load it. Ah, you see that bait or dough? Huh? Uh, keep it dry before you load it. Pack it, pack in your favorite fish catcher and get ready to pull in a catfish. Okay, so let's open the stuff here and see what is inside this thing here. Okay, ouch, man. All right, let's see here. Ah, okay, I, I already know what is this stuff, but I'm just gonna show you guys. We got here one treble hook, right? One treble hook. With a little uh with a little you know thing here in the middle okay that's so that's man that is very interesting stuff here you see one treble hook with a little thingy here in the middle i have never used this uh before right but pretty much what it says here right uh dippers tubes bait balls use soft dip bait Press dip, dry dip warm into beige, being sure to fill holes. Rebage after 5 to 15 minutes depending on current. So that is very interesting. You can, I'm assuming you can take this thing out. Yeah, see? So you can take this thing out, right? And, and you can actually put some beige inside this thing, okay? And then you put it back in the hook, right? There we go. And then you hook it on your line. So this is perfect for uh, scented baits. Just like I mentioned previously to the unboxing, right? Scented baits work really well for catfish. All right, next thing here on the list. Let's see what else we got. Second item of the, of the pack, as I have expected, terminal tackle, right? We got an assorted hook pack by Team Catfish. 270 for a four pack right there you go and it says here the right hook for any occasion you can trust any of these mega strength hooks to bring you back the big cats and as a matter of fact i think my friend joe from chat cats fishing if you don't follow him yet go follow him i think joe uses team catfish hooks okay and there you go you just have your regular circle and j catfish hooks okay just like that they seem to be really nice, okay? I have never used products from Team Catfish before, but there you go, right? Your regular, your regular catfish hook, okay? That is really cool. Because, you know, when it comes to catfish, I do really like to use circle hooks, and J hooks aren't so different, okay? Circle hooks because they always give you an auto hook set, right? Okay, next item here, preserved shad by magic products okay see that's something that i forgot to mention but yes they could give you preserved baits okay so preserved shad by magic products 2.99 for a 1.5 ounce package right there you go you have the photo right here for you good stuff it says here the anise fish attracting scent added to this bait makes them ideal for tough conditions when nothing else seems to be working. And let's see here, our preserved shed that looks like smoked fish that I buy in the market. <laughs> oh my goodness, there you go. That is your preserved, preserved baby shed, okay? It doesn't look very uh, appetizing, right? But again, it is not for human consumption, okay? And for this type of particular bait, I would really love to show you guys, right, by opening the package, but I would really rather not, okay? I would really rather open the package when I do the MTB slam so I can show you better because if I open it right now, I'm pretty sure my hands are going to stink really bad, okay? <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave this on the side for now, okay? All right, next project here. Let's see what we got. We got the Sticky Dip Bait Tube by Team Catfish, 324 for a three pack. Okay, there you go. And it's very similar to the bait ball that we did earlier, okay? You can trust whatever dip bait you put in these tubes to stay held underwater while the catfish come prowling after it. So we got here the dip tubes by Team Catfish. 
All right, there you go. Dip tubes by Team Catfish, okay? It says here, real catfish gear. And the hooks are size two notch, which I actually think is a very good hook size for catfish. Let's open it up and see how the thing is on the inside, okay? Pow! Oh boy. Okay, I was just smelling it to see, you know, what it smells like. <laughs> it's all right, it's not bad. Come on, come on, man, come on. Okay, there we go, I got it. I think I got it. Okay, I finally got it. Okay. <clears throat> so this is how it is, right? You can divide this into two pieces, right? This is the tube and this is the hook. You put your stink page or whatever you wanna put in here, right? And you know something that I would really recommend for this type of beach is the chicken liver. My goodness, actually, you know what? Even for this here, right? The first one that we did, chicken liver. Chicken liver is disgusting, soft, it falls off really easy, but you know what? It is prime beige for catfish, right? Put some chicken liver in one of these things here, add a little hook to it, right? Pass the line, make sure to pass the line, right? in the hook, through the tube, right? Put your bait in, and, t and guess what? When the catfish comes in the water to grab the bait, right? The hook is right here. There's a wide enough angle right here so you can give a proper hook set. So this is, a, this is definitely a very cool product. And you know what? I see that MTB came with these products for bait, right? The, the preserved shad and stuff, but I may really uh, buy some chicken liver for my MTB's lamb, okay? If you guys think I should buy some chicken liver for my MTB's lamb, leave it in the comments below, okay? Let's go for the next bait for today. The Pole Float by Carlisle, uh, $3.95 for one pack. So it comes with a float as well, okay? Now, catfish are mainly bottom feeders, like I mentioned, right? And there you go, you got your, your float here, right? Catfish are mainly bottom feeders, right? But that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't use a float. When you are fishing bodies of water that are too deep, certainly you can't use a float, right? Because how are you gonna manage the float, right? And the line being all the way down. But when you are reading lakes, uh, I mean, when you're reading, when you're fishing lakes, reservoirs, small ponds, small creeks, where the water is actually shallow, even, even up to three or four feet, right? you could actually set up a float in a sense that even when you set up the float, your bait is still all the way down. So there you go, you got a good uh, quality float here that does look like something else. Well, uh, never mind, I'm not gonna comment that on the video. But uh, you know, you, you, do have a <laughs> you do have a good quality float right here, right? Put your line in here, right? The float stays, when the fish bites, it goes down. And it has to be a bigger float, right? Because catfish, you know, catfish will pull hard, right? So there you go. I don't know if I will be able to use the float on one of my um, MTB's, uh, on my MTB's land, but you know, we will see, M maybe so, maybe so, you never know, right? Next item here that came inside is the Catfish Dip Plugger, okay? By K&A, Stopper Yours, 349 for a one pack. And as a matter of fact, you do, you do need one of those if you want to punch bait inside the bait ball that we had earlier, right? It says here, the dip plugger takes the mess out of using dip baits. Drag your coated worm through the dip plugger to force bait into the grooves. So there you go. Where is it? Okay, there you go. The catfish dip plugger. Let me, let me uh, take this out here, okay? Uh, makes perfect plugs, works with most worms, saves bait, last mass, and you see, this is this is the thing here, right? It looks just like a little funnel style item, right? That you can hold on the side. At first view, it seems really complex to use, right? You may be thinking, oh, how I use something like this, but here, behind it, right? It actually gives you instructions for it, right? Or on how to use it. Okay, it pretty much says here, place plugger over lip of jar bait, pluck, right? Press dip worm into bait, pluck, okay? Place line 
ink is lot, plug, and then it says pull deep worm slowly through plugger, and then the page comes up, okay? I really wish that uh, Mr. Attackle Box gave me some kind of deep page so I could do a demonstration here, right? On, uh, on the channel, but my box didn't come with a deep page. Maybe other boxes came with a deep page, I don't know. So, <laughs> I mean, you know, so, all right, there you go. You got here your uh, catfish dip plugger, okay? And if you guys really don't know how to use it, don't worry about it. I, I'm sure there are plenty of, uh, of videos on YouTube, you know, demonstrating how to use the stuff. And please, don't go using this stuff to eat your cereal in the morning or something like that, all right? Strictly for fishing. All right, next we got the No Row Sinker from Mudville Catmaster, two seventy nine for a two pack. Okay, No Row Sinker. All right, and then it says here these sinkers prevent your line from rolling under a stump or snagging in cover after you set the hook on a catfish. Okay, let's take a look at here the No Row Sinkers. We got one ounce sinkers right here let's open it up now you can see from this no row sinkers right away right that they wouldn't row Duh. <laughs> and why is that right this is the interesting part though why wouldn't they row this is the interesting part right flat surface with uh, not a lot of diameter right not a lot of thickness and they wouldn't roll because the surface area is bigger. Ah, right? When it stays down there, it stays like this, right? The more surface area you have, less it rolls. That's why when you use egg sinkers in your current, the egg sinkers are going to goddamn roll, all right? They're circular, they will roll. If you want your bait to stay better there and not roll, you use sinkers like this, or you use bank sinkers coin sinkers, pyramid sinkers, sinkers like that, that have more surface area, okay? One ounce may not be enough for the river where I fish at. The river where I fish at for catfish, you know, needs sinkers that are a little bit bigger. So maybe two ounces would have been perfect for me. On the other hand, if you fish for catfish in smaller bodies of water, then one ounce sinkers would be perfect, right? Or even less. Okay, and finally, the last thing that came in our box, right, was another uh, deeper, okay, the River Dip Worm by Mudville Catmaster, $1.99 for a two-pack, okay, this is the last one here that came in the box, it says here, perfect dip and sink bait to throw in murky water, this catfish magnet has a glowing rib body that survives bite after bite. So the company actually mentions about the durability of the product, okay? And there you go, you can see the product here. Very similar to the bait ball that we unboxed first here. And uh, you know, th they are right about that. You know, when it comes to this type of products, it is really important that these products, this products have a high level of durability. I mean, I wouldn't buy one of these, right? So I can only uh, use it only once and then it gets devastated, right? It gets all messed up. So there you go, right? This one is already ready to go, you see? The one that we unboxed first with the treble hook doesn't have the line on it, right? You just put the bait in and use it. This one actually already has the line on it, okay? So there you go, it's, al it's already snailed. So you can just put the bait inside through the holes, right? Fill it up, has a treble hook, catfish comes, gets it, right? And you got your hook set right there. So that's it for the mystery tackle box for the month of February. These are all the products that came in here, right? Apart from the products, of course, we got a little, uh, a little, <laughs> a little catfish diagram down. What we got here? What type of catfish is this? It looks like a blue catfish. I don't know, but there you go. There's a catfish little thing here. Of course, you always got the Dibble Digest with the other KVD on its cover, right? You got the mystery tackle box the sticker. And you have the match, the hatch, that I never win. I will try later, but truth be told, I never win, okay? So this is it for the month of February for the catfish box. Um, now, 
my opinions on, on, on this box, right? Well, first, let's calculate how much this box was the bo the value of the box, okay? <clears throat> so we got here uh, 350, 4, 6, 20, 9, 20, uh, 10, 12, 55. Oh goodness, 1505, 1605, 19, 1955, 1955, 20, 05, 22, 25. So 2455 is the total value of this box, okay? About 2255, okay? I'll write it in the video. Anyways, okay, and I paid only $15 for this box, right? Now, truth be told, for the products that came in here, right, what would I use for catfish, okay? I would certainly use the assorted hook pack, okay? The assorted hook pack works really well for me. Uh, it is team catfish quality, so I would definitely go for that. I would give it a try for the preserved shad by Magic Products, that's for sure. Uh, and uh, the No Row Sinker by Mudville Catmaster, okay, on, on the value of two pack. <clears throat> now, I don't know how you guys feel about this box, right? I mean, you see, when you fish for catfish all around the country, I think you have to take in consideration, of course, the, all the different bodies of water that are out there for catfish, right? However, I feel that Mr. Tackle Box should have included uh, sinkers that are a little bit bigger than this or maybe even two variations of sinkers in one box i would rather have gotten more sinker and uh more hooks okay rather than having three different types of uh of dippers you know of uh you know the the bait stuff i got here the bait ball by uh you know k and stopper yours i got the stick the stick dip bait tube and i got the river dip worm so three different types that do exactly the same thing. I mean, they don't do exactly the same thing, but it is pretty goddamn similar, right? For and from these three different bait dip tubes, right? I would definitely try the sticky dip bait tube because it is solid and it is a tube. You can put a lot of chicken liver in it or the river dip worm, right? You know, you know what? I would use the bait ball as well, okay? I would use all three of them in my upcoming Mr. Tackle Box is lamb okay but again one thing that got me extremely disappointed with the box right is that it came with all these things okay but it didn't come with a dip bait <laughs> so you <laughs> came with all of these it even came with the catfish dip plugger but it didn't come with the dip bait so i mean okay i got all of these in my box let's say i'm an amateur angler for catfish I came all of these, I have never used them before, I'm excited to try them out, and I don't have the dip bait. You know what I'm saying, folks? That I have to go out on my way to buy my own dip bait out there. So this is one thing that got me down a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I would get another catfish box or not. Maybe I would, you know, give it a try by catching, getting another box. Mm, you never know. Alright, this is unboxing is getting too long already. Oh my goodness, my unboxings are always so long. I apologize that even to myself. I wish this unboxing could be like four or five minutes. Save me a lot of time, you know? Alright folks, thanks for watching. Uh, there will be more unboxings coming up on the channel for the month of March. I have already gotten my Lucky Tackle Box and Mystery Tackle Box this month. Okay, so stay tuned for more unboxings on Extreme Fillet Fishing. Uh, regardless of the unboxing portion, I really, really hope you guys learned something extra about catfish today, okay? Tie lines and until next video, fellas.